Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It's Tech Teen Ruben and today we're going to be looking at the self-loading cargo uh, add-on mod for the simulator which is sort of like a cheaper version of PAX. Really sorry guys for yesterday that I couldn't upload. I had some troubles with the Adobe Cloud servers but I'm back today dropping some brand new content on the self-loading cargo mod. So let's get straight into it everyone and welcome to the video. Hello everyone, it's Tech Teen and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at this uh, self-loading cargo mod which I've had for a while actually. I had it before PAX. I, I do think PAX is better but this is a, a, a quite a, a bit cheaper. It's about £8 cheaper. So this one uh, goes for about £12.99. I've just had a look and it's, it's at that price at the moment. And PAX is around £20. So is it worth paying an extra £8 for, for PAX? So let's have a little look. So let's jump straight into the flight deck. So yeah, we're in, we're in the flight deck, just getting everything started up, and we'll have a little look. So we've got a little the uh, menu here where we can put um, we can start to put our uh, aircraft, our cabin layout. So you can edit these in the settings, sound pack. So whatever sort of airline you're flying with, you can put the sound pack there, and then you can put your uh, your airline, your flight number, your cruising altitude, IACO. Departure, ISGO, arrival, departure time, arrival time. Now this is just an example, and you can import from Simbooth as well, which is pretty cool. You can put your passengers in, and then you can go ahead and start the flight. Uh, so yeah, we need to put the yeah. You can't put dots in between. There we go. Let's start flight. Okay, so here we go. I think that means that it triggers the door to open. I believe, even though we haven't. Okay, so you do need to get the jetway attached. So if we have a little look. Okay, so the jetway is now connected. Now you can probably hear the, uh, the sort of the sounds of the crew boarding and all of this. So we go back inside. So yeah, it's quite noisy. It's 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 not sort of like a so it's it's not a bad noise really, but it's uh, it's nice and uh, so yeah. What we can do now is we can say we can go ahead and say we're ready for boarding. I come through, we're ready to get going now. And the, so this I, like, I do like this voice, it is quite good. The Thank you. There we go, so we can say we're ready here. We can put some play cabin music. Or we can control yeah, that by using you. the mouse wheel. Yeah, so you've got the music, you've got your board in there. You can also address the cabin announcements and they'll show when they're ready. So you can turn on the seatbelt sign. You can click ready to board there. And you can see 99% magnet. So we're just going to go on instant board. So yeah, we'll just do that. So we're going to close the doors now. now. I believe, yeah, this is what this is the problem you have. If you're having this problem, what you need to do is you need to uh, request a jetway disconnection. So it's going to tell us all passengers are on board. So we're going to get the, jet, the jetway disattached. Ready to push and start. So I'm going to go ahead and request a pushback. And then we go ahead and turn the boarding music off there. So yeah, so we're going to get the pushback and it should start the... I believe it has a safety roof on it, I'm not too sure. But you can see it gives us uh, people what they what they are feeling. Gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, and on behalf of myself, the first officer, and the cabin crew, I'd just like to give you a warm welcome on board the aircraft. As you may have noticed, we've now closed the doors and expect to be departing in just a few moments. If can you have a look at any, any reports, medical issues, if you require any crew are not seated, so you can have a look at that. Above your head and, be sure to listen and you've got all these settings here and stuff, um, again once you reach out with the voices, now once again, which I quite like. You got, so you've got a lot of, of sort of, you have got a lot of um, room, room in there to, to like play around. Okay, so we're in pushback now, and we are getting a a voice. We're getting a voice for doing our uh, um, pushback. As you can hear in the background, we're getting a voice doing the safety brief. It's not very good, just just to let you know. But I believe you can change that. It's, it's just sounds a bit quick, and like it's done on uh, sort of Google translate really and then then it's not allowed but so seatbelt signs on cabin music's off 
we can address the cabin by uh, doing this. So I'm going to fast forward to the runway now, guys. Okay, guys, so we're just about to tax on to the runway. And what I do find is if you go a little bit too fast, it's going to think you're uh, taking off because it automatically detects it. In that case, it, it tells you that you've taken off. And when you slow down again, it says a, an abort takeoff. So it's, that's a little bit annoying with this. Um, well, that doesn't happen with uh, packed. There's another thing. So we're just going to see if we can address the cabin. I think we... No, so we're going to go ahead and take off. Okay, yeah, there you go. You can see it says perform, perform takeoff. Now, this last time this happened uh, when I was taxiing, and it was very, very annoying, but it's all good now. There we go, and it even re reads out the uh, 100. the takeoff speeds, which is pretty cool. Okay. Okay, it's taken off now. You can see that it also has a satisfaction rate, which is pretty cool. Uh, yep, and it will tell you if you need gear up as well. Okay, and now you can see it's changed the flight phase to a after takeoff, and it's uh, telling us to establish a safe altitude. Let's see, we've just taken off from Orlando, one of my uh, more favourite airports out of the many in uh, the flight simulator. So yeah, I think it's a pretty good, a pretty good uh, mod, but I definitely recommend stretching the eight pounds out. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to drop a like. If you didn't like it, put a dislike and comment down below why you didn't and what I could improve on it. And if you feel like subscribing and you want to help out the channel, make sure to subscribe as I do stream uh, daily now, except for Wednesday. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching my video, and I will see you all very, very soon.